I think I've made my point clear. AJ Styles has shown no respect to anybody here anymore. I understand that you two are buddies, but why bother showing respect to someone who doesn't respect you back? Here's the thing, Bruce. I understand that AJ has been treating us terribly, but at the same time, I can see why. He'd just be more of himself again and not be put in a faction that can hardly stand on its two feet. Whether he prefers to be alone or not, he didn't need to prove himself like the way he did last week with Cody Rhodes. And what if he wanted to tell you to your face? Would you have accepted his decision? Or would you just ignore his request to leave this club? In case if you forgot, we not only came together to become more dominant than ever, but also try to pry you out of the trio. And you wanted to leave the judgment day. You left that team for a minute and now you're standing here a champion. You think that's a good thing, isn't it? I may be a champion, but I never intended to lose my friends in the process unlike you. At least everyone in the Judgment Day showed more respect than this club. Hell, we don't even talk to each other unless if we're all planning something. Our lack of communication is why we're failing now. It'd be no surprise if I'm the next Platinum Club member to lose their championship. Do you know why I'm still champion? Because everyone knows who's the real Bullet Club leader. Is, this team wouldn't exist if it weren't for me. You know, what's funny about that little club of your Finn is each and every person that has ever been a part of it after you. They stay there for a few months until everyone else gets bored. Of them, that faction's reputation is dried out. I'm trying to do what they couldn't. Well, whatever this is, you're doing a terrible job. The Judgment Day was everything I hoped the Bullet Club to be. I'd take over your role as the leader or the self-proclaimed world destroyer, but I don't think that'd be necessary. I'm bigger than what you wish to be. You couldn't even defeat Jack Raiden, the guy who doesn't have as much wrestling experience as all of us. I've seen your matches in the indies and so on. That version of Bruce Weaver was the one that I was hoping to see fight in this ring. I guess fatherhood has hit all of you that badly, huh? All right, first and foremost, who do you think you are, Finn? Just because you're champion. That doesn't give you a right to blame everyone else here for being a father. Second, you are, however, right about me wanting to do my own thing. I want to prove to everyone that AJ Styles is still capable of standing on his own to feet by peeling that Intercontinental Championship off of Finn Balor at the Royal Rumble next Saturday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't remember issuing any sort of- As a matter of fact, Finn, you haven't even given me my rematch for the Intercontinental Championship. You know, since everyone is just getting whatever they want tonight, then I want it on the Intercontinental Championship as well. Fine. If this is just how things are going to go between all of us from now on, then how about this? AJ Styles, Bruce Weaver, and Cody Rhodes will get into a triple threat match next week, and the winner will face me at the Royal Rumble. Or I'll do one better. Why don't we just face each other in a fatal for way match for the Intercontinental Championship at the Royal Rumble? Or well, since you still think you can actually defeat me, why don't you face me in a non-title match tonight? And if you win, we'll have our fatal for way match. If I win, we'll do my way. That sounds like a deal to me. As long as I'm putting my hand on all three of you. Just to make sure I get this right. If Finn wins, it's a triple threat match on next week's Raw for a title match at the Royal Rumble next Saturday. But if Bruce wins, we're all put into a fatal four way match at the Royal Rumble. Exactly. Two behind it. Nice neckbreaker. 
Feels like it's opportune time to get out of here. Better be quick about it. Not much time to get over. Oh, he takes a painful fall from the cage. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. Looking for a grip to get themselves over the cage. Boom, what impact. Ooh. Getting ever so close to the very peak of the steel cage. And a hellacious fall from the cage. Got to be more aware of your opponent. Heading up and maybe heading out. Oh my God! The sprint off the cage is off. Fortitude being tested with every step. Nasty impact. Hunter Anderson pays off. Big time shoulder block with a big screw. Running hurt and runner. Fantastic. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display! What a way to flaunt your abilities. Big kick, perfect drop kick. Drop. I don't have you walking funny. Making the big climb towards victory. Oh my goodness. Oh. How's that for a counter? Oh, this gets close. What's hurt there? That will stop anybody. And would you look at that? He could be well on his way to escaping the steel cage. Well, it's not safe being up there. And he's able to reverse. All that hard work about to pay off. Just got to get your feet on the floor. There's Gargano with a count. Oh. And that prevents any offense from Paul. Is this the right time? Is this the right moment? Powerbomb. Oh. Unceremoniously set right back down to the canvas. Oh, I did not like the look of that impact. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. set up the cage wall. Needs to be careful, though. Every movement is a dangerous one. Ice and Champa's veins right now. He doesn't give a damn if his opponent gets a breather. It's just more time for him to punish. Scoring is take a lot of willpower to make it all the way to the top. Oh, no. He comes out the cage and lands right back in the ring. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. He got whipped in that corner. And a well-executed move we just saw there. And here we go. He's headed up the cage. Takes incredible guts to make this climb. And some effective offense with that one. Oh, the counter. Champa isn't worried, and he is letting the crowd know it. It's such a supporting to make this huge climb. And he's thrown from the cage down to the mat. Sometimes opportunities can backfire like that. Kick to the gut. What are they looking for here? Looks like a pump handle into a power slam. Champa isn't worried, and he is letting the crowd know it. Hoist it up. Oh, targeting the stomach. And the champ looking worn out. Honestly, considering this is a cage match, I'm surprised it took this long for the damage to pile up. And every inch climb puts you in a more perilous position. Unleashing a barrage on their opponent. Champa sitting back, studying his opponent. Waiting. He's working toward making his escape. He can almost taste the win in this cage match. He just has to... Tony Gargano with it, and he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. Still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. Looking for a grip to get themselves over the cage. Champa sitting back, studying his opponent, waiting. And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. All he has to do is drop down to the floor, and his hand will be raised. After such a grueling, hard-fought battle, he is finally nearing the moment he's fought for, and that is victory inside. And the champs stay the champs. What a title defense. Here are your winners, and still, the Raw Tag Team Champions.
champions, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa D. thrilling steel cage match unpredictable to the very end but there's the survivor put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can study to learn this craft Son of a dream looking to realize his destiny in WWE. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Multiple tag team and intercontinental championship reigns during his first run here in WWE. But now that the prodigal son has returned, Cody Rhodes has reached main event status. A man who began his WWE career with a legacy to uphold, but soon became a star who left them all in the dust. Yeah, I think we can all agree his time away has turned him into one of the toughest competitors in all of sports entertainment. work of his career. Always had the athleticism, but now he has a drive like never before. This man may consider himself a star, but Cody intends on leaving him in the dust. The bell is rung and anything goes in this no disqualification match. This is just going to be a brawl that can turn the real ugly real quick. No rules to obey means no limit on how nasty this one can get. And I love it. Got to ring your bell. Ooh, what a damaging blow. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Is that? Oh. Apollo Crews a little out of his element here. Corey, what's your best shot at winning in a no disqualification match? You lean into the stipulation and leave no stone unturned. Use everything at your disposal to get the win. Otherwise, what's the point? Uh-oh. Way too high. Understand the sentiment. No. Whoa. Suicide dive. It's like a heat seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Cruz with retaliation. 
The Nigerian Nightmare just ooh. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Some words exchanged, didn't think that was gonna happen. There's no way these two coexist for the whole match. I think they can do it. They're obviously not on the same page at all. Yeah, the communication is broken down before the match even really began. Match underway, and as we just saw, there's obviously a lack of respect between these competitors. Yeah, well, this business isn't about making friends, Cole. Sometimes you have to draw a line in the sand and let others know, I'm not your friend, pal. It's not pretty, but it's effective. She catches Valhalla with a counter. Valhalla's having trouble assessing the situation. Drop kick to the back. She's enduring some damage. Whipped hard into the turnbuckle. Tag made. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Unintentional contact. You can't even follow this. Well, try following this, Michael. All the way to the outside, wiping out both partners. What a chaotic matchup. Wants to finish this inside the ring. Count out. Set up in the corner of the ring. Diving splash in the corner. Valhalla in a state of distress. Valhalla is having trouble assessing the situation. Perfect. Double stop. She's forced onto the defensive. 
submissive now. Just breaking down the opponent. Oh, from behind. That'll give you some whiplash. Extraordinary offense from Morgan. This is what it feels like to run into a competitor like Morgan. same page as much as we thought they were. It seems like this superstar has had enough of their partner. Here comes Finn Balor. A man who has truly embraced his darkness and has seen success as a result. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion, Finn. The Prince has arrived and is more lethal than ever. Hey, a sense of pure <laughs> animosity to him. That's it. Well, it's just the fact that Finn Balor's finally been able to free himself of any limitations WWE or the WWE fans have placed upon him. Yeah, well, I guess freeing himself of said limitations also translates into turning his back on the entire WWE Universe. Boo-hoo, Byron. The results speak for themselves. See the intense focus and drive in the eyes of Finn Balor. When it comes to Finn Balor, it's always about competing at the highest of levels. And his opponent from Sweetwater, Texas, weighing in at 237 pounds, the outlaw, Bruce Weaver. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one.
You're about to enter a battle against the Prince Finn Balor. No turning back now. Here's a superstar that has been making waves for weeks now, and that's why he's facing off against the champ here tonight. Well, you gotta respect the foresight. He took a non-title match because he knows that he has what it takes, and he's looking to prove it. Yeah, Corey, title or not, this is going to be a barn burner for sure. And then you have someone like Finn Balor, who's finally stopped pretending to care about what others want from him. All that matters to Balor now when he's in the ring is what he wants, which is to completely dismantle his opponent at every possible turn and reap the benefits of his success. And what the Prince wants, the Prince gets. Corey, we have to assume that Finn Balor has thrown his old playbook out the window and is focused on what the future holds for him. While you're not wrong about Balor looking to the future, I don't think he's thrown everything out the window. Balor didn't become a global superstar by shoulders down. And still in this. And you got it. That's the leg. Climbing up to the top now. We're going to finish it off. Through the air. And connects. Just crashing down with high impact. Yeah, it's a pull out. From the apron, diving moonsault. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Oh, what a shot. Evading offense. He gets back into the ring. Finn Balor channeling the activity of the Balor Club here. Face Buster plants him. Vicious knee. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. Immense pressure being kept on Balor. Finn really having trouble with his defense. match we are witnessing. This match could just about be over. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh! Bowers in deep peril here. Northern Lights suplex. Not finished yet. Oh, he thinks he has it. And oh, he kicked out at two. I cannot believe it. How in the world? What a battle we are witnessing. We're at a stage where someone's going to have to shift it into another gear. You gotta imagine this match is a different complexion after what we just saw. Look at this. Airlock suplex! Balor having trouble shifting the tides. Finn is being worked on heavily. Oh my! Apron Centaur! Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Oh, man. Oh, I hope they're back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Well, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Oh, that hurt. 
He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Balor retaliates. Yeah, but he needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. He's executing on his plan perfectly. Yeah, he's fulfilling his game plan to the T. Potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Back in the ring now. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. He skirts around it. He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. Believe me, this superstar realizes how oh, oh, come on. A second. I understand being frustrated, but that's ridiculous. This superstar just crossed the line. I don't know which of these two I can't stand less. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. I love this. Two people who exemplify that you can try hard, never cut corners, and earn big things here in WWE. Well, they say birds of a feather flock together. I just hope poultry's on the menu for their opponents tonight. <laughs> Good line, Corey. I'm the best. This guy doesn't deserve her as a teammate. And their opponents, Dominic Mysterio and Rhea Ripley, the Judgment Day. I cannot believe this dweeb gets to team up with one of the best women to ever step in that ring. Uh, despite your name calling, that guy is a tremendous in-ring performer. Maybe she'll learn that you can follow the rules and still win here in WWE. Team match starting. This is one of my favorite kind of matches. Oh, and cheap shot right above the eye. Talk about it, the knee. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Up and down with the gut buster. Cover. And there's the save. And a discus clothesline. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Dominic can withstand much more of this. Yeah, Dominic needs to find an opening fast. Dominic with the reversal. And Mysterio needed that badly. Dominic was getting beaten down, but he could have just changed the pace with that move. Oh my gosh, what impact! And the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Swan 
baton. That's got to be it. Two count points out at two. She just will not go. Gets out of there in a hurt. No! Suicide dive. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. <laughs> Establishing complete control. Great drop kick. Things taking a turn for her now. Relentless. Rhea Ripley in a state of distress. Ripley's experiencing some brutality. And now thrown back into the ring. Steady legs in the corner, needs to recover. Oh my God, what a kick. Nice headlock applied, look at this athleticism. Oh, that was pretty cool. She tagged out, but if you ask me, I think her opponent wanted a break too. Oh my! He's getting pushed out into the defensive. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Able to reverse. Hooked up. And DDT. Dominic was ready for that. Vicious right forward. Springboard misses the target. And a heinous attack to the knee. He turns it around. Turnbuckles. Oh, Dominic gets cut off. Beautiful. Floater with a neck breaker. Big jump. Perfect. Is it enough? The Still gonna take. This has been a colossal battle to this point. No superstar is showing signs of backing down. We are seeing all their best on display, but it might just come down to who can take advantage of a big mistake. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Oh, my gosh! Rhea capitalizes there. A little psychological warfare play here from the Nightmare. Kick right to the face. Sets the action as the men get set to do battle. Dominic Mysterio has his opponent in play for the 6 9 I don't like the look in his eye here, folks.
He tags out, which means it's now time for the women to compete. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. I don't know what choice she, she had to prepare herself for being severely injured. Had to tap out. That puts this mixed tag match in the books. Here are your winners. There's the man and woman of the hour, your winners in this mixed tag match. No frills, no gimmicks, just old school tag team excellence to get the victory. Duo. It wasn't easy, but they were able to overcome. Hang on a second. From the high. What are these two out here? They're not even involved in the match. Yeah, but they're making their presence felt. Completely crashing the celebration. Damien, I heard the Judgment Day has issues with Raiden and Fenwix. Why don't we form a temporary alliance to stop them? Will I get his title? I can make it happen. Then a deal it is. <laughs>